Michigan self-imposed three-game ban for Jim Harbaugh. As you can see here, this was written by Adam Wittenberg of ESPN. It says here, Michigan State self-imposed three-game suspension for football coach Jim Harbaugh to begin the 2023 season. Stemming from alleged violations during the COVID-19 dead period, the university announced Monday. While the ongoing, and it says here, quote, while the ongoing NCAA matter continues through the NCAA process, today's announcement is our way of addressing mistakes that our department has agreed to in a attempt to further that process. Athletic Director Ray Morton said in a statement, he continues to say, quote, we will continue to support Coach Harbaugh, his staff, and our outstanding student athletes. Per the NCAA guidelines, we cannot comment further until the matter is resolved. Close quote. Uh, the head coach Jim Harbaugh, in response, says today, and then the response said, "I will continue to do what I always tell our players and my kids at home: don't get bitter, get better." Close quote. So the three games that Mr. Harbaugh will be suspended in. Similarly, I don't even know why he's been suspended into it. What did he really do? I want to know what he really did, okay? That's what I want to know, okay? As I read through the article, I, w- I want to know what he really, what, what exactly he violated and how did he violate it? Because there are a lot of people saying different things out here in, on the web. I really want to know what Jim Harbaugh did to violate the rule. Now, for those of you who want to know what the rule is, let me go here. It says here, Michigan self, self-imposed self suspension of Harbaugh is designed to soften the potential ruling from the NCAA, which likely won't come until 2024. So as I said, Harbaugh faces a level one violation, which would be for not cooperating with or misleading the NCAA investigators about the alleged violations. So he lied to people investigating. Okay. Now, if you now if you're gonna punish him for lying, then okay, then all this. Oh, you know I mean Jim Harbaugh, you shouldn't be lying to the people who are trying to figure out what, trying to figure out if you did anything wrong. Don't lie. You lie. If you lied, you should be suspended for you know three games. And so I'm not gonna be too harp on that. But I mean, but you you don't, kids, kids. If there's one lesson you can learn from this, you don't lie. Lying makes everything worse. You might not notice it, but lying makes everything worse. Don't listen to the sayings. What they don't know don't hurt them. Don't listen to that. That is a lie. That's a fabrication. Don't don't listen to people when they say what they don't know won't hurt them. That is a fabrication. Don't go for it. Just letting you know. Okay? And with that suspension, Jim Harbaugh will be missing what? The open against East Carolina on the second. UNLV on the ninth and Bowling Green on the 16th. You know, the crazy thing is, all of them home games. Every last one of them are home games, and every last one of them, they should be blowing a, all three of them out. As you see here, the first game on the docket here is at 12 p.m. on the 2nd of September, and Michigan is favored by 36 points. And we ain't even hit September yet. And they are favored by 36 points. And Michigan still should go 3 0. Okay. Michigan still should go 3 0 with no problems. We ain't even going to stop about it. Then when he comes back from three games, especially he has a home game against Rutgers. So the Michigan Wolverines have four straight home games to open up the season. They will literally be 4 1 0 before they have their first world game. And that's at Nebraska with Matt Rule in charge now. Before they go to Minnesota, which is one of the key games, too. If you recall me doing last weekend when I talked about the Big 10. Both of them road games are key games for me when it comes to Michigan because you don't know what Matt Rule's going to do with, with that uh, Nebraska Cornhole. You don't know what you don't know what you're in for for that one. And you know, row the boat up in Minnesota ain't easy as well. Okay, then they get a home game with the uh, Indiana Hoosiers on the 14th of October before they have their in-state rivalry with the Michigan start with the Michigan State Spartans out in East Lansing on the 21st of October, and then Purdue comes in to begin November. And of course, you have. Penn State and Ohio State left on the schedule. Nevertheless, they should be fine. I am not worrying about Michigan. Let Jim Harbaugh serve his three games spins for lying. You don't lie, Jim Harbaugh. You send a bad example. Stop lying. Let him serve his three games spins. And NCAA don't even worry about it. Let three. Let it go. Let him go three and zero. 
four and zero, and then we and then we'll go from there. All right. <laughs>